Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thanks for joining me. Well, today I'm going to share a few projects with you for Newton's Neck Designs and we are using such a cute stamp set. It's the Dear Santa stamp set. Um, it's part of the Newton's Nook Designs holiday release. There is so much to this release and you guys will just love everything. Um, I'll leave the shop down below if you guys want to browse, but oh my gosh, there is some amazing products. I fell in love with the Santa one because how long Santas were and I think they make great uh, fun tags. And so we're going to make two tags and then one card today. So we're basically going to use all the images in the stamp set. Um, there are sentiments in here that, are, that coordinate with each one of them, which like always, they're so cute. There's one that says, you're always on my nice list. There's one that says, here comes Santa Claus. And then there's one that says holiday cheer. There's also a sentiment that says, ho, ho, ho. And um, each sentiment has an element of it that um, like the cheer and the holiday cheer is hollowed out. So you can color it in so you can spread out that color on your card base, which makes it really nice. So I stamped all three of my Santas. Nice thing is, is they're, they're all doing different things. One of them is holding a naughty nice list. Another one is holding a stack of presents, pretty high stack of presents. Another one is holding a stocking that's filled with lots of goodies. There's two accent stamps in the set. Um, one of them is like a little peppermint candy. And then another one is a small present. We're gonna stamp extras of those. I'm stamping with Memento ink on some Nina um, classic crest solar white cardstock because we are going to use Copic markers to color in our images and I did it off screen guys I colored um, colored them in um, since there were so many images and my video ran long I had to shorten it by leaving out the coloring so I'm sorry about that but um, basic coloring I chose some bright colors for the presents some teals and purples and pinks um, even threw in some greens there and then Santa I just colored with traditional reds so, and then highlighted the white areas with my C1 marker, just to give it a little bit of shading. But everything's colored in. I used the coordinating dies to die cut them out also. Um, there's dies that will cut out the little peppermint candies and the presents too, which makes it so nice. We'll set these guys aside, but I wanted to do something a little extra special to the Santa that's holding the list. Um, I'm taking my black jelly roll pen. This pen is what usually what I dot the eyes with my images. Um, after I'm done coloring just to brighten them up a bit but it's real fine tipped so but any kind of fine tip marker you have would work even a ballpoint pen would work too but I'm just gonna add little squiggly lines to my list we are going to add some nice names this is a nice list um, and I think it just adds a little extra something there's enough room on this list it's pretty good size to actually write somebody's name if you wanted to also okay we are gonna do some die cutting we're going to start off by creating our tags. We are going to be using the Fancy Edges Tag die set. Um, we're going to die cut out two tags. And then with the decorative pieces, I'm going to die cut out um, some ends. The, I cut a strip that would was the width of my tag. And then we're going to die cut out um, the scalloped edge and then the zigzag edge. Um, we're going to make our tag longer with those. I am going to cut out the top decorative piece for the tag with red cardstock and then the reinforcement with white. And we're going to do that twice here. For my card, I am going to be using a scalloped edge panel. And that die I, is actually from the framework die set. Um, it's the second largest in that set. I did use the frames and flags die set to create some tags. I, I cut out three tags with white cardstock and then one of the long skinny ones with red. And that's the one, those two we're gonna use for our card. Assembling the tag is super easy. All I'm gonna use do is take my tape runner and we're gonna add a line of glue at the very bottom of our tag. And then take that decorative piece and add that to the bottom. So we're adding basically about an inch, maybe a little less than an inch to our, our tag. And it's gonna work perfect because those Santas again are long. Um, we're going to add our decorative piece. There's a score line on here. So I'm going to grab my bone folder, reinforce that score line. We'll do that to both of them. If you want to use glue to add your decorative piece, you could, but I'm just going to use my tape runner. You just line it up on the back, tack it down, and then flip it over. Just making sure those holes are lined up. We'll do the same thing to this. We did the opposite though. I lined it up on the front and then flipped it over. 
And then we'll add our little decorative piece, making it a little bit longer. Okay, next we're gonna tape down our reinforcements over our decorative piece. And I think those look so fun. I am looking forward to creating with this. Okay, I'm bringing in some eyelets. These are from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, I'm bringing in eyelets. These actually have washers with them. Um, I've never used a washer, but I thought, you know what, since this is a larger tag and it's gonna be for a gift for somebody, let's make the back pretty too. So I added the eyelet on top, flipped it around, added the washer on the reverse side and then squeezed it together with my crop dial and it actually makes a really nice finished look on the back side. Sometimes when I squish my eyelets, the back side's not very pretty. <laughs> so the eyelets actually help. So that was pretty, pretty neat. We'll do the same thing to our second tag. I'm just using black eyelets, guys. And these are on the larger side. They're not the small ones. They're the, the larger ones, I would say. So our tags are basically ready to go. We'll set these aside. Now, I want I like white in my background, I add a, but I do like texture in my background too. So, Newton's Nook Designs has a brand new stencil in the shop, part of the holiday release too. This is called the Tiny Trees Stencil. Love this. And I thought we would add a little bit of tone on tone to our back panel here. So, I'm gonna line it up, the stencil here, and then I'm gonna actually um, create a triangle with it for my background. I'm gonna mask off the bottom and then I'm gonna take some more of my post-it note tape and mask off the sides here. And then we're gonna mask off this. Now I wanted my triangle to be offset on my panel here. I'm gonna take one piece and cover up that scalloped edge. I didn't want, um, we're gonna use texture paste today and I didn't want any texture paste to be on that scalloped edge. So once everything is masked off, I'm gonna use my spatula and we're gonna scoop a little texture paste over our trees. Again, we're going for tone on tone, but the nice thing about texture paste is if you wanna add glitter to it, if you wanna add color with your distress inks, um, you could very well add color too, but I'm just gonna keep it white. Very easy to put on and texture paste dries really fast, guys. So we have a little Christmas tree filled with Christmas trees on our background. So that's our card panel. I'm gonna do the same thing to our little tags here. Although I don't want to add any of that white texture paste to the red area of my tag. So we're gonna use, we're gonna lift up our post-it note tape and create a smaller triangle. Um, this way we can offset it on our tags too. So I just made a smaller triangle with four on the bottom and then it goes four, three, two, one. Well, masking tape is actually working as an adhesive too to keep that down to the tag. I'm gonna add a little more texture paste here. And we have some dimension in our background. Um, there is a little bit of texture paste that got on my red part of the tag, but no worries because we're gonna use um, our banner to stamp our sentiment and we're gonna cover that seam up. So I wasn't too worried about that. I did use my hand and wipe off that texture paste from the edges because when it dries, it'll, um, if you don't wipe it off, it won't be smooth and that's, we want it smooth. <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing to our next tag. Just line it up, offsetting it a bit. And then I'm gonna use my texture paste and go over this as well. And then our tags are done. I love adding texture to my backgrounds. If you, you could actually do some embossing too if you wanted to. Because in your background, if you wanted to emboss your white tag, you could very well do that too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my stencil while, um, before it dries basically, <laughs> and clean in my mess. And then we are gonna give this a little bit of time to dry and we're gonna continue on. This time we're gonna continue on with our card. Um, I did end up die cutting out one more white banner. Um, I'm gonna layer both of these white ones together and then this way I can layer the red one right on top. I'm just gonna tape the red one on the end of one and then we'll add adhesive to the top port here and then we're gonna tack these down just so my red banner is outlined with the white one and you can see the stitch detail. 
there are um, the lines when we join them both together you can see them but I'm going to cover those up with our little Santa so I wasn't too concerned about that now I had one eyelet left out and I did that intentionally because I'm going to, going to um, going to if I can talk boy I've had a lot of coffee this morning but I'm going to add my eyelet to the very left side of my tag punched a hole here we're going to add our washer behind it and then we are going to do our little sandwich smushing and we have an eyelet on here now I did this because I want to add some um, black and white gingham ribbon and I thought this was a great way to add that to the tag you didn't want to do this you could just wrap it around the end I think that would work just as well we'll thread this through I basically fold my thread in half thread it through the hole and then loop it around and then um, we're gonna tie our bow here I had to play with it a little bit to get get the bow where I wanted but when I'm happy I did trim the tails of my bow we're gonna go ahead and add our panel to a red card base that I created with the same cardstock that we used for the tags and our banner here. Um, and I'm loving that texture. I think it looks, it's hard to see on camera, but in the close ups, you'll be able to see. For my card, we're stamping the sentiment says, You're always on my nice list. I did treat my, my banners with my anti static powder tool, and then we stamped with Versamark ink. We're going to go over. Um, our sentiment with white embossing powder. I think white on that red it's going to make our sentiment pop a little bit. And then I did take a dark red, I think it's a R59 marker, and I filled in the, um, the nice on the sentiment to add a little bit of extra something to our sentiment here. I popped up our Santa and our tag and placed it over our background panel here. And I'm loving that. Love that list. So we'll set that aside. We're going to add bells and whistles after we finish our tags. For our tags, we're basically going to do the same thing. We are going to stamp our sentiment. We're going to offset it because Santa's going to go on one side and our sentiment's going to go on another. Santa, we're going to set, stamp the sentiment on the right side. For this tag, we're going to use Holiday Cheer. I'm stamping just with my Versamark or Versafine Onyx Black ink. We'll stamp that. And then I'm going to use two of my Copic markers. Basically, I use the same markers that I used for um, my Santas here. So it coordinated um, a lighter color first, filling in all of the cheer. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a gradient with my darker R59 marker. Um, just to make it a little more special. <laughs> Once our sentiment stamped, we're going to flip it over. I'm going to add foam adhesive behind it, and then this is going to go right over the seam. So we st we added texture with our tree towards the right of the tag. So we're going to put our Santa to the left, so we can see some of those trees in the background. We're just going to add foam adhesive. I'm going to add one piece to the very top, and I thought about doubling it up so he's one level higher, and then changed my mind. I thought, well, one layer is just fine. So one piece of foam adhesive, I'll use my tape runner on the bottom. We'll add Santa to the side of our tag here. Kind of overhanging a little bit. I just love the way these turned out. So that's a nice way to, to make your tags a little bit longer. <laughs> there are our presents and our little, our little candies. We are going to add our presents, kind of tucking them above the, our, our banner here. And then um, we'll use three of them, kind of stacking them on top of each other. I think that's nice. And I use the same bright colors as the presents that this guy was holding here. And then we have lots of candies. And I thought, we, I think we have five candies that I colored in. And I used pinks and reds for the candy. I think we'll use one of those um, just above the sentiment too. Lovely. Okay, we are going to use that same black and white gingham ribbon. I'm going to trim down a small piece. Again, we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to thread it through our tag top here. Kind of create a loop and then put those ends right inside the loop. This way we can uh, tie a bow at the very top. 
this year I'm super excited. Um, we are going to have a two trees. Last year um, we finally got rid of our old Christmas tree. Long overdue, guys, because when you you know you need to re our, we have artificial trees, and you know you need to replace a tree when after the holidays you're vacuuming up pine needles that aren't real. <laughs> You know it's time to get a new one so when they went on sale last year we actually had bought I bought one um, took it out of the box just to make sure it was a nice size um, we bought them I think they were like 50% off which is really nice but um, took it out of the box put it together it was the ones that you take out of the box and you just add the layers and they kind of fall in place but it was tall and skinny it was a beautiful tree but I didn't want a tall and skinny one I wanted a full one but I thought you know what I'm gonna keep that one and bring it to work um, and then we bought another one. Well, um, we're not gonna be able to use it this year, but um, I am gonna be using that tall skinny one at, at home. So I wanted to do a black and white Christmas tree. I think that's gonna be so fun. <laughs> it's kinda, kinda gonna be my Christmas tree, although the family doesn't know it yet. <laughs> it's, but they have the one that's gonna be in the family room and I have the one that's gonna be in the sitting room. So it's going to be fun to be able to decorate my own tree. And so that's why I was inspired. I'm going to use um, black and white checkers for for this year. Okay, I'm rambling and I'm, I'm doing my little tags here. Basically with the second tag, I did the same exact thing that I did with the first tag. I do have some extra candy pieces left over. So I just added three to my card, kind of spreading out that, that red color. Plus it adds a little splash of pink. I didn't forget to, to use my ribbon. We're going to do that in just a little bit, but we are going to add some bells and whistles. We have to bring in the gold stickles for Santa's belt buckle. His belt buckle has to be sparkly. So these two have the belt buckle showing. We're going to add some gold stickles to there. And then I'm going to bring in some diamond stickles, which, which is like an iridescent stickle. I'm going to add a little sparkle to each one of the presents and then the little um, gift that's hanging out of the stocking here. And then I was gonna call this done. We're gonna th thread our tag and call it done, but I think we need a little more sparkle. So I'm bringing in some Nuvo Simply White crystal drops. I drew lines over the top of Santa's hat, over the cuffs of his coat, the bottom of his coat, and then the cuffs of his um, britches. So, after I drew lines with that, I added some clear glitter. These, this is like a thicker glitter that I picked up from Walmart. It's like a chunky glitter. They're very cheap tubes, guys. They're only like a buck each. Super, super cheap. But I thought we'd add that extra sparkle to the tags. Just because Christmas needs lots of sparkle this year, I think. It needs more sparkle than normal this year. It's going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to do the same thing with this tag. Um, I did wait a little bit before I did this only because I did add the, the diamond stickles and the gold stickles and I didn't want that clear stick uh, glitter to stick to that. It did a little bit, but that's okay. I did the same thing with Santa on my card. Last but not least, I am going to thread this last tag that you probably thought I forgot to thread, but we are going to thread and tie a bow here. But those are my projects today, guys, using some new items over at the Newton's Nook Design Shop. I encourage you guys to check it out. There are so much fun items over there. And if you want lots of inspiration, guys, visit the Newton's Nook Design blog. There is amazing inspiration with this new release over there. But I want to thank you so much for joining me. Again, this is the Dear Santa stamp set. And then also, well, actually everything that I used today, guys, will be listed down below. And there's plenty of room on the backside too for your to and from with your tags. Have a fabulous day. Thanks for bearing with my rambling. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.